there were people on my Twitter feed who, while we were at uh, CES, were asking me to bring back at least one thing that was kind of enterprise related. I mean, CES, I know it no longer stands for this, but it used to stand for the Consumer Electronics Show. It is sort of targeted towards the end user. But there was one booth that had a bit of technology that I think is going to have huge applications for the enterprise in the future. So without further uh, ado, here's what we're going to be doing to our data centers in the next century. Be you a system builder or an enterprise guru, there's one common enemy, heat. Heat is the thing that causes inefficiency. Heat is the thing that causes equipment to break, which is why I'm here with Philip from 3M, who has a novel idea for the next generation of data centers. Philip, what is this? This is evaporative two-phase immersion cooling. So the server's been submerged in a dielectric coolant that has a boiling temperature of about 55 C. Fluid's boiling on the heat generating components, the GPUs, CPUs. All the heat's gathered as a vapor stream that moves upward, condensing on a coil, transfers heat to facility water. Everything within the tank is passive. Now, there are people who are passing by who are thinking, why are they putting bubbles through the bottom of this tank? Those aren't bubbles. Well, they are bubbles, but it's not an air supply. That's actually the liquid boiling as it comes into contact with those hot surfaces. And of course, thermodynamics tell us that that energy must come from somewhere, which means it's dumping all its waste heat directly into this Novec. Now, the cool thing about this, and this has been sort of the dream of anyone who's been building a high-density data center, is it allows you to precisely control where the heat goes. It doesn't go into the hot aisle, it doesn't go outside of the rack, it goes to where we want to go, which in this case is the condensing unit. How, how would I scale this? Because I love this idea, but what would I need to do to, to do this on a massive center? I'm talking about a data center the size of, say, the South Hall. That's a very good question, and it's being done today. Uh, in fact, Bitfury, one of our customers, has deployed at the 40 megawatt scale in a Bitcoin mining facility in the Republic of Georgia. It houses about 6 million ASICs in 250 kilowatt tanks. And they run that facility with 48 to 52 degrees C facility water. So their annual energy consumption for cooling is approximately 1% of the IT overhead. And the facility was built in six months on, on what would be a shockingly low budget in the IT industry. All right, now let's get past the geek factor because I love this kind of cooling. Immersive cooling has always been something that's, it's a little bit of a geek squee. I mean, be, be you the, the guy who built his first system himself or someone who's designing a data center, anytime I can use a non-traditional way of cooling, which tends to be a very large chunk of my power usage, I'm happy. And yet, this is still pretty specialized because it's going to be a little bit more costly. Who do you see being the customer for Novak? Who's going to be designing something using this kind of evaporative cooling? Well, we have to find those partners that are that have a sore point, right? They need the density that the technology can provide. They need the energy efficiency. Perhaps people who are constrained in, in real estate, floor space density, and energy for cooling. Um, but before that can happen, we have to work with partners like Gigabyte here uh, to densify the hardware, to reduce the fluid requirement to submerge the hardware. Before that, the cost of ownership model is not very attractive, but, but it quickly gets that way when you, when you increase density. All right, I'm going to have to ask you to look into your crystal ball because I remember working with Floor Inert and Cray computers because you used to have to liquid cool those. Now we've got Novec. What comes next? What, what, is the, what are the wizards at 3M working on in the lab that's just going to blow away those who are looking for a better way to cool their hot gear? Well, our expertise, of course, is the chemistry, and we're always looking at better chemistries. Uh, key factors are safety, environment, low global warming potential. The Novak trade name, the fluids that we use today, are all intended, all of those products are intended to meet those goals. Um, and we, we continue to think about the future. How do, we, how do we meet the demands of HPC with their you know, high, high communication frequencies? We need low dielectric constants. Um, all these things are important. Philip, thank you very much. You've, just, you've made my CES. Now, if they wanted to find out more about Novec, if they wanted to find out more about 3M, if they wanted to find out more about the applications for this kind of technology, where should they go? I would say go online and Google two-phase immersion cooling. You'll find a lot of information. That's 3M. If you're looking for a way to cool down, maybe you just need to dunk it in some Novec. <laughs>